Hello Leo, welcome to your next 48 to 72 hours reading. So Leo, these messages are timeless. Whenever you click on the video, that's when the messages can resonate the most. They're also general, so not every message will be for you. Just take what resonates and leave the rest. I'm going to go ahead and tap in. Spirit, give me some messages for Leo. Next 48 to 72 hours. What is the energy for Leo? Next 48 to 72. Okay. I have the Ace of Swords. Give me another message for Leo. The Two of Cups. The Seven of Wands. Okay. I feel like somebody um, is seeing the truth about a connection. Somebody feels like they have to protect their relationship. Somebody could also be seeing that someone is a blockage. Somebody's trying to block them from getting into another connection. Or is trying to block them when it comes to a current relationship. Somebody doesn't want you to be happy or Leo. This could be you not wanting um, another person to be happy. Give me an energy for... The Ace of Swords. Somebody doesn't want you to find companionship here. Give me energy for the Ace of Swords. Somebody don't want you to move on. Look at this. The Queen of Cups. Somebody can see the truth about the mother of the child. Or a water sign feminine. Or somebody that embodies this Queen of Cups energy. Um, for some of you, somebody can see the truth about their mom. Like somebody has been a blockage. Or is continuing to be a blockage. And... Their love life. Give me an energy for the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here? Somebody could be mad. Because I'm looking at um, this lion here. It's just giving me somebody is angry. Somebody's upset. Somebody is like a third party here. If you look at how this is in between the two of cups. Somebody like wants to separate two people or... Don't want two people to come together or don't want you to come together with anyone. It's like somebody's just running interference. I feel like they always have. Give me an energy for the Ace of Swords. Why is the Ace of Swords here for Leo? What is the energy? I have the Eight of Wands. Somebody likes to tell you what to do. Somebody always has something to say. This is giving me an energy of like, it don't matter who you bring home, who you get with. This person don't likes anyone because it's not them. It's like, you know, it's, it's not, it's not them who you are connected to romantically. So it's kind of like, you know. That person isn't me, so so no, I, I don't like them for you. The only person I feel that's good for you is me. That's the type of energy this Queen of Cups is, is on. Give me an energy for the Queen of Cups. The Eight of Pentacles. I feel like this person has been working over time. Um, for a while now to block you. For some of you, this person could have been a blockage for years, but this person knows how to use her words, how to manipulate a situation. For some of you, this is somebody that comes off as if she actually um, is telling you things that are in your best interest or is telling this person things that are in his best interest, but she's really not. She's doing it to be spiteful, vindictive. She's doing this to interfere. To stop you from being in union with another person. Give me an energy for the eight of wands. And then I'm hearing lonely. So for some of you, this person is doing this because she's lonely. Somebody's bitter. This could be somebody's bitter ex, bitter baby mother, or actually bitter mom. For some of you, this is a situation where this is a mother. She feels like because she sacrificed her life. For her son to raise her son. For some of you, I'm strongly getting single mother vibes. Like this is somebody who could have turned men down. Just to focus primarily on her child or children. So she feel like her son or her children should make the same sacrifices for her. Somebody's bitter and lonely. Because 
when they had the opportunities to be in relationships, they chose their children. And there's nothing wrong with choosing your kids and saying, like, I'm going to wait till my kids get a certain age before I date. You know, people make sacrifices like that all the time. There's nothing wrong with that. But the thing is, she really did want a relationship. <laughs> She really did want to connect with someone, but she felt like she couldn't or she didn't need to because she was a parent. She needed to put the needs of her son or the needs of her children before her own. But the thing is, she feels like now her kids owe her something. So it's like I sacrifice for you and now you sacrifice for me. So I'm over here lonely because I don't turn everybody away to raise you. And so I feel like you should do the same thing for me. So no, I don't want you to be in a relationship. Yes, I'm going to interfere. Yes, I'm going to tell you that everybody is bad for you, even though that's not the truth. Somebody is emotionally codependent on their child. Because they don't have anyone to love. That's what this is for someone. Give me an energy on the Eight of Wands. Why is the Eight of Wands here for Leo? What is the message? Why is the Eight of Wands here for Leo? What is the energy? Why is the Eight of Wands here? Okay, the lovers. Yeah, this is somebody that wants to dictate your choice when it comes to your relationship. Somebody wants control. But I'm telling you, it's because this person is unhappy with their own life. Somebody doesn't have anybody, anyone that they can call their own. This person is all up in your business because she don't have anybody. This is why. Whether it's a baby mom, a sister, a mother... Somebody wants to tell you who to be with and who you shouldn't be with. I feel like for those of you where you already partnered up, whoever this feminine energy is, she doesn't like who you're connected to. I feel like for some of you, half the time, this Queen of Cups energy, this mother figure doesn't even get along with whoever you're in a connection with. I feel like there's a lot of jealousy here. Somebody don't want to see you happy because they're not happy with their life, their circumstances, their love life. And I feel like you're starting to see the truth or this person is. Give me an energy for the two of cups. Gemini energy on the lovers. Give me an energy for the two of cups. Why is the two of cups here for Leo? The moon. I feel like somebody has to hide their relationship. Somebody can't say, oh, I'm, I'm dating such and such. Or I'm in a commitment with such and such. It's like somebody feels like they have to hide who they're with. Just to please this Queen of Cups energy. So she doesn't have anything to say. Or so she won't try to sabotage the relationship. Pisces, Cancer on the moon. Give me another energy for the Two of Cups. Why is the Two of Cups here for Leo? What is the message? Why is the Two of Cups here for Leo? What is the energy spirit? The Six of Wands. Yeah, somebody wants to be public though. That's the thing. One person wants to keep the connection hidden. And the other person is ready to go public. Like, why don't you show me off? I feel like whoever you're connected to, if this is you, Leo, who's having this issue with this Queen of Cups energy, um, whoever you're dealing with, they're tired of being a secret. Or if the roles are reversed, Leo, you're tired of being a secret. Somebody's like, why, why do you care about what... This person says, why do you care about what your baby mother has to say or your sister has to say or your mom has to say? Don't you love me enough? Don't you care about me enough? So it's like one person wants to be 
quiet about the connection and the other person is like well no I, I want you to show me off I want people to know that we're together and so it's causing a lot of friction seven of wands in this relationship somebody's starting to pull back or they will and protect themselves protect their heart because somebody feels like they're going to end up getting hurt because in actuality with this moon energy whoever wants to keep this relationship a secret is giving their mom or their sister or the mother of their child or children power over their love life it's like why do you have to keep this person a secret just to appease this other person and I can see doing that initially while you get to know each other. But after a while, it's like, no, this person deserves to be honored publicly. For some of you, something could have been um, between six to seven months that you could have been dating or talking to this person. Up to eight months for some of you. Six to eight months. Give me an energy for the moon. Why is the moon here for Leo? What is the message? Why is the moon here for Leo? What is the energy? Next 48 to 72. Why is the moon here for Leo? Next 48 to 72. The star exposure. That's what this is. It's going to come out anyway. <laughs> That's what I'm getting with Aquarius energy. Whatever it is, masculine or feminine. Because it's going to be different for everyone. It's trying to hide. Somebody's trying to, you know, pretty much keep up an illusion around who they're seeing. It's going to come out anyway. Give me an energy for the moon. Another message, please. Why is the moon here for Leo? What is the energy? Why is the moon here for Leo? What is the message? Why is the moon here, spirit? What's the energy? Justice. Somebody could be in a secret commitment here. Somebody could be um, eloping or considering eloping. Yeah, it's almost like for some of you, in order to ensure that nobody comes in between this relationship, somebody feels like they have to get married in secret. That way, nobody will be able to interfere because the deed is already done. You're already married. So what can they say besides be angry, be upset? It's already been solidified. Somebody could also um, be coming out publicly, posting something online, letting people know that they are married. Yeah, somebody could be married secretly and they're finally going to... Let the cat out of the bag and inform people about this. And for some of you, this could be done online. That's what I'm getting. Something about October is significant. Somebody um could have been married since October or be thinking about getting married in October. October 13th is significant. Give me an energy for the Six of Wands. Why is the Six of Wands here for Leo? What is the message? Why is the Six of Wands here for Leo? What's the energy? Why is the Six of Wands here for Leo? Okay. The Four of Pentacles, yeah. Somebody doesn't want to tell their family. <laughs> they don't. Somebody doesn't want to tell their family. They want to keep this hidden. For some of you, this person has been um, 
keeping hidden that they are actually married to this person. Yeah, they've been keeping this a secret from their family. I'm telling you, somebody already knows the type of people that they deal with that or this person. They already know how this energy gets down. So they've been keeping things on the hush-hush. But they're going to expose that something is going to come out about this relationship, this marriage. Yeah, but somebody has been keeping um, this secret connection hidden, has not been telling anyone. For some of you too, like where this is like the mother of this person's child or children, like he knows that this person like still interacts with his family members. So that's why he don't tell them much because he know like they'll tell her because they still have a good relationship with this energy. Give me a message for the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here for Leo? What is the message? And there will be. Spirit is saying there will be a secret marriage. Somebody's getting married in secret here. Just to stop any type of interference, any drama. This is giving me to, I'm hearing recep reception later. So this is giving me the energy also like where these two people are going to get married or you're going to get married in secret. And then um, you'll end up having something else later for the family. Like a reception, you know, so that everybody could celebrate the marriage, the union. Give me an energy for the seven of wands. Why is the seven of wands here for Leo? What is the message? Why is the seven of wands here for Leo? What's the energy spirit? Why is the seven of wands here? The high priestess it flipped out in the reverse. Pisces energy, tell me more. The nine of cups. Yeah, I feel like once this secret comes out, this person going to be upset, going to be defensive. Like, why? Why you didn't tell me? And why this and why that? Like, somebody is going to want answers. Somebody's going to put you in a um, situation where you feel like you have to defend yourself or that's where they want you to be. But it's not going to work. Because I'm telling you, the cat is going to be out of the bed. The secret is coming out. And you're going to be so happy. And you're going to wear it well. Like People are going to see just how content you are. That's what this is, Leo. Somebody's been trying to block you from being happy. Somebody don't want to see you happy. Because this person is miserable. Give me an energy for the high priestess in the reverse. Pisces energy. Heavy on the Pisces. In this reading. Why is the high priestess in the reverse? What is the message? Why is the high priestess in the reverse? What is the energy? Okay. The queen of wands. Give me another message. The five of swords. So this is somebody that um, has been trying to compete with you, Leo. Somebody knows this person is interested in you or um, where you're already together. They want to compete with you because you're with who they want to be with. Or if this is a, a mother-son relationship, it's like somebody wants to keep their son single. For some of you um, where this is the mother of this person's child, um, somebody's going around telling people like, oh, you were the third party and oh, you you broke them up. You were the cause of the separation. Like somebody's trying to like destroy your reputation here. They're doing a lot. Somebody could even be acting like overly emotional about you and this person being together. But it's all a front. It's all a facade. It's just to like win sympathy and to make you look bad. It's kind of like, you know, this person wants to make things hard for you. This person doesn't want family or friends to like you. Somebody's very selfish here, very boastful as well. 
It's like this person just wants to win against you. Somebody could also be jealous of like how you look. Somebody could have very long hair here. Somebody could have brown hair. And then I'm hearing blue eyes. Somebody could like to wear red lipstick as well. Somebody's favorite color could be yellow. Give me an energy for the Five of Swords. Why is the Five of Swords here for Leo? What is the message? Why is the Five of Swords here for Leo? What is the energy spirit? Why is the Five of Swords here? The sun. Yeah, this is the mother of someone's child. Leo, this could be you. Who's in this Five of Swords energy. But um, this person, this is somebody who um tries to throw the child in your face. Like, oh, I got his kid. It doesn't matter. Um, Y'all can be together, but, you know, I'm the one with the baby. I'm always going to be here. <laughs> you and him may be dating. You and him may be seeing each other. But I'm always going to be around because I have the kid. <laughs> and at any moment, he could leave you. <laughs> That's what type of energy... <laughs> This five of swords is on. I'm telling you, uh, the king of wands to five of wands at the bottom of the dead. Nothing but conflict and drama. This person wants to keep up conflict and drama. For some of you, this is your counterpart here. Somebody could also be lying about a pregnancy just to hold on to this person. This person like, watches you or watches this other energy. Always trying to watch what this person's going to do next. It's like somebody doesn't want to let this masculine breathe, literally. Somebody could be looking at this person's social media accounts. Give me an energy for the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here? And even if you two are married or thinking about committing, it's like this person is still going to throw the child up in your face like it don't matter y'all can get married i'm still the baby mother i'm still gonna be here he's still gonna have to take care of this child or these children it's like somebody wants to let you know their place like they're always going to be relevant that's what this is somebody just wants to stay relevant give me an energy for the nine of cups why the nine of cups here for leo what is the message why is the Nine of Cups here for Leo? What is the energy? Why is the Nine of Cups here, Spirit? What would you like for Leo to know? The King of Pentacles. Somebody has like an overflow of abundance. That's what I'm getting. Yeah, somebody has an overflow of abundance. I feel like for some of you, Leo, with this Empress and the Nine of Wands to the Queen of Swords... I feel like whoever this energy is, this Queen of Cups, Five of... Swords energy is this is somebody who had a lot to say about you for some of you this person could have initially deterred this masculine from coming towards you but I feel like now and I feel like this nine of wands too represents many other opportunities this masculine has had to be in a successful partnership but he missed out on it listening to this queen of swords Queen of Cups energy. For some of you two, with the Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, this is somebody's baby's mother and sister tag teaming this masculine. To block him from getting into any other relationships. But I feel like now this masculine, if you look at how this man is looking on the Nine of Wands, now this masculine is looking at this Queen of Swords funny. Like, uh-uh, now this masculine has his guard up to this Queen of Swords as well. For some of you, this is a sister. That's the energy this Queen of Swords is giving me. Because somebody sees the truth about you, that you're the Empress, you're the real deal. 
And for some of you, this Queen of Swords could have taught this masculine into going back to his baby mother to rebuild, to reconnect. And that turned out to be a disaster. It's like somebody's realizing that they have been getting the wrong advice, listening to the wrong person, the wrong people, because they really don't have this person's best interest at heart. Give me another energy for, or I should say in mind. Give me an energy for the Nine of Cups. Why is the Nine of Cups here for Leo? What is the energy? Why is the Nine of Cups here for Leo? What is the message? Why is the Nine of Cups here, Spirit? What's the energy? A strand. Somebody just wants control. This masculine is very stubborn too. And they know this. Thank you, Spirit. So these people <laughs> or this person knows that this masculine is real stubborn. So they know what to say to get him to put his guard up. They know exactly what to tell this person to get him to block out a new love or anything that's going to really be his wish fulfillment. They knew what to say to him to get him to block you out or try to block you out. But I feel like regardless of how much they tried, this person just couldn't. I feel like spirit with the sun to the king of pentacles always um, shine the light down on who you are. Spirit has always exposed the truth about you to this masculine, whether or not he wanted to see it. I feel like this person could never really forget about you, could never get you out of his head. Give me an energy on the King of Pentacles. Why is the King of Pentacles here? What is the message? Why is the King of Pentacles here for Leo? What is the energy? The Ace of Cups. So now I feel like where, you know, they wanted this masculine to put his guard up towards you. Now for some of you, this word, this masculine did put his guard up towards you. But it's like now where this masculine was guarded towards you or where they wanted this person to be this way towards you. Now, instead, he's guarded towards this Queen of Cups energy and anyone else who he feels does not want him to have genuine love, who does not want him to be happy. Somebody is standing up for this relationship. Somebody is defending how they feel, their emotions. They're willing to defend this love at all costs because they want to be happy. Somebody sees their wish fulfillment and they want to go after it. And they're not letting go. It's like somebody has become stubborn about you, about this connection, and they don't want to hear it. And if anybody has anything to say, about this union, about you, this person is going to put his guard up. And it doesn't matter whether it's mom, sister, baby, mother, boundaries will be set because he wants real love. Somebody could be overly emotional as well. Um, I'm hearing the song make me want to cry sometimes. For some of you, this masculine knows that it's real because very few people can put this masculine in his emotions and you are one of the few people that can do that you make a grown man cry you put this grown man this person who has this huge ego in his feelings and that's how he knows what he feels for you is real let's pull some final messages Spirit, give me some final energy for Leo. What is the message? 
Give me some final energy for Leo. What's the message? Final energy for Leo. Next 48 to 72. What's the energy? Final message for Leo. Next 48 to 72. The Wheel of Fortune and the Ten of Cups. Sagittarius, Leo, Taurus, Scorpio, Aquarius energy on the Wheel of Fortune is time. This is faded. It was faded for you two to be together. Nobody can block destiny. That's what this is. So it's just time for this masculine to have his 10 to come into union. It's time for you two to have this relationship. And this is protected. But it's just your divine timing. And it doesn't matter what anybody says or does. It's, you know, nobody can block this connection. This masculine is choosing to be happy. Somebody is choosing you. And you're choosing this person, Leo. Or you're about to. Take it as it resonates. But somebody wants to win with you. Six of Wands. They know it will be a very successful, abundant relationship. But this person knows that he has to turn his back on a certain person or certain people. And he has to mean it. There's going to be someone or multiple people left out in the cold so that this partnership can come together. And this masculine is willing to do what it takes. Somebody wants to hold on to you. The time is right. The time is now for this person to have this Ace of Cups. Um, for some of you, this is going to be a reconciliation. Like I said, initially this person did listen to the mother of his child or his mom or sister or, or whoever this feminine energy is and put his guard up towards you. For some of you, this person could have even ghosted you. But it's like now this person wants to reconcile. Of course, you have free will, but just know you, this energy is willing to do what it takes. Somebody's willing to put the proper boundaries in place. They know they have to if they want to be happy. Give me one more message. Spirit, give me one more message for Leo. What is the energy? Look at this. You deserve love. You are lovable. Yep. Somebody's realizing what they deserve. Somebody's realizing they deserve to be happy. They deserve love. Not to be miserable. Trying to please other people. Do what makes other people happy. No, somebody's choosing to make themselves happy. And then we have retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world. Yeah, I'm telling you, this person's going to be pulling back his energy from a lot of people. This masculine is willing to protect this relationship or feminine. Take it as it resonates. But yeah, a lot of people are going to be left out in the cold. And then I'm hearing, um, Tony, 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 just me and you, just us two. Yes, this person doesn't care who he has to leave out in the cold as long as it's just you two. Just me and you. As long as he has you or as long as she has you. That's all that really matters. So, Leo, this is your reading. Take what resonates. Stay true to thyself and real with thyself. Grow with me as I grow with you. Stay blessed.